Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will learn how to use CSS or cascaded style sheets in HTML. Now CSS is whole different topic and it requires, uh, you know, many videos to learn CSS. But I'm going to give you a brief introduction how you can use CSS in HTML. So there are three ways in which you can use CSS in HTML. One is internal, second is inline, and third is external. So first of all, let's see how we can use inline CSS with our HTML element. So for example, I have this uh, h1 tag and I have uh, some text inside this h1 tag and I want to change the appearance of this text. So right now it looks like this, right? So for example, I want to change the color of uh, this text. So what I can do is I can uh, add a style attribute here and as a style, I can add a color and color can be for example red okay i will save it and i will refresh my web page and now it looks like red right you can change it to some other color and save your code and refresh your page and it changes to that color so this is how you can add inline styling to your element now let's see how to add internal styling to our HTML tags. So go inside your head element and inside the head element, you just need to add style element here. And in here, in the inside style element, right now we don't need this text attribute. So just inside your style element, what you can do is you can choose the name of your elements. For example, I want to change the font size of this H1 element, right? So I will just write H1 and then inside the brackets, these curly brackets, I can provides the attribute. For example, I want to change the font size. I can choose font size and then I can choose my size. For example, 100 PX, which stands for 100 pixels. Okay, I save it and I will refresh my page. And now the font size is changed to 100 PX, right? Now, for example, I want to transfer this property to this internal style. So how, what I can do is I can just choose this color colon and then just below this I can add this property and at the last I need to add this semicolon here. And now I can remove this style from here and save it and it will be same style, right? So we can use these styles like this. Now, for example, I want to change the background of my body. So I can take the body element from here, something like body. And inside these curly braces, I can change the background color. For example, background color. And I can choose any color here. For example, yellow, okay? and save it and refresh your page and the background becomes yellow here, okay? Now let's see how we can add our external CSS file in our HTML. So first of all, we need to create a CSS file. So I will go to my web content folder and I will create a new and I will choose a new file here. And this time I want to create a style.css file. So just write style.css. And CSS stands for cascaded style sheet, as I already told you. And just save the CSS file here. And in here, you can just transfer your style, which you have provided here, like this. Just copy this. And I will delete this style element from here. And inside your CSS file, you just need to give these uh, styles like this. So for h1 tag, 
same as you have given as an internal style you can give it here right now to add the css file in our html file what we need to do is we need to add our link tag here so add a link tag and as an attribute here we add a attribute called rel and whose value should be equal to style sheet right and the second attribute we want to give here is href as we give in our link and then is equal to give the path of your css file so it's in the same directory as in my html file so i can directly write style.css okay now this will add this css file in your html file and then once you refresh your page it will look like the same okay and when you remove some property for example this background color and save it and refresh your page it will remove your property right so these are the three ways you can add a CSS file in your HTML file. Now there are two more important things in CSS you need to know. One is called a ID attribute and another is called a class attribute. Okay, so I'm going to remove all the styling code from my styling sheet. And once again, I will go to my HTML file and for example first of all we will learn how to use id attribute with css okay so for example i add our attribute called id here and i can define my own id for example my id and then i can go to my style.css file here and then here first of all i will give the name of the element in which i want to add this style so h1 is the name of the element so just write h1 and then write a hash and then write the name of the id so id name is my id right so write the name of the id and then add these curly braces here and then you can provide your uh, property which you want to change for example color and i want to change it to red color right like this and save your code and refresh your page and it becomes red okay so this is how you can use id attribute with css now there is one more attribute called class so for example i delete this attribute id from my h1 tag and i add an attribute called class here and i can define my own class so for example my class and once again i will go to my style.css file and instead of uh, using this what i can do is i can write something like this so first of all i can take the name of my element which i want to use so for example h1 because this class is in the h1 tag right and then dot my class name which is my class right and then these curly braces and inside the curly braces once again the for example color attribute i want to change and this time i want to change it to blue right so i will save my code and refresh my web page and it becomes blue so in this way you can use class attribute in css and html okay so that's it for css I hope you understood the basic concept how to use CSS in HTML. So that's it for this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.